when sweat alone comes out of your pores, it's actually odorless. But once it mixes with the bacteria on your skin, that's when things start to smell. Body odor is surprisingly complex. It's not just about sweat, although that's where it starts. To create that familiar smell, you need two things. Body odor is a completely normal part of being human. While some of us may be more prone to it due to genetics or health conditions, it is manageable with consistent care. Most of us don't need more than one whiff to recognize that distinct, often unpleasant scent, which we call body odor. But what is it really? Why do some people smell more than others? And more importantly, what can we do to stay fresh? Let's break it down. Body odor is surprisingly complex. It's not just about sweat, although that's where it starts. To create that familiar smell, you need two things. Your body's natural secretions, especially from areas like your armpits and the bacteria that live on your skin and feed on those secretions. When sweat alone comes out of your pores, it's actually odorless. But once it mixes with the bacteria on your skin, that's when things start to smell. This bacteria breaks down the sweat into acids, which release those sharp onion, musky, or even sweet scents we associate with body odor. And yes, your personal odor is always unique. Genetics, age, gender, hormones, hygiene, and even what you eat influence the smell. For instance, spicy foods, garlic, alcohol, and red meat can all affect how you smell. So can hormonal shifts, like during puberty or menopause. As a skincare expert, here are my tips. Wash your armpits daily and thoroughly. Use warm water and a gentle antibacterial soap to clean the area. But keep in mind, no soap can remove 100% of the bacteria since many live deep in the skin. Use a deodorant or an antiperspirant. They work by neutralizing the smell and often contain antibacterial agents. Antiperspirants go a step further. They reduce the sweat production itself. Look for options that contain aluminum salts or products with glycolic acid, which lowers the pH and makes your skin less friendly to bacteria. My product recommendations are below. Showering after workouts or heavy sweating. This prevents sweat from sitting too long on the skin and becoming a buffet for bacteria. Trim or shave your underarms. Hair traps sweat and provides a larger surface area for bacteria to cling to. Keeping things neat can make a big difference. Wear breathable fabrics like cotton or moisture wicking materials. They allow the air to flow and keep you drier. Synthetic fabrics tend to trap heat and sweat, making odor worse. Important, stay hydrated and eat clean. Drinking enough water helps to flush out toxins and cools the body naturally. Also, cutting down on sulfur-rich foods like onion, garlic, and red meat might help if you are noticing stronger smells. And finally, don't panic. Body odor is a completely normal part of being human. While some of us may be more prone to it due to genetics or health conditions, it is manageable with consistent care. So what's your go-to trick for staying fresh? Got a product or a tip that works wonders for you? Drop it in the comments. I'll reply. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Clinically for more such dermatologist-backed insights into skincare, health, and hygiene.